going on guys in this video we are going to see how to prove this proposition proposition 1 says that x times 0 is equal to 0 here we are going to see how to prove this one but before you watch this video it, it's better to watch the axioms list i put the link of the axioms video in the description so you can go ahead and watch them because i'm going to use those axioms to prove this proposition okay now let's start here so here we have to prove x times 0 is equal to 0 so this is x let's grab this one this x times 0 is equal to 0 and also we can write this one as for example if we say x times 1 that is also equivalent to x times 0 plus 1 this is by axiom 3 and that is identity of addition I put the list of axioms in the description too so you can see when I put a1 a2 a3 whatever it is you can refer it in the description here I put a3 a3 is identity of addition so this will become x0 plus x1 okay the next thing is we can use the identity of multiplication it says this is also equal to like uh, x times 0 when you multiply x times 1 that's x this is identity of multiplication this is axiom 7 okay i put it in the box axiom 7 the next thing is we are going to use the additive inverse additive inverse says when you add a negative x right you have to do this one for both sides if you do that this is going to be x0 plus x plus minus x this is additive inverse that is a4 okay so from this one we can see x plus minus x that's equal to 0 that is equal to x times 0 plus x plus minus x this is associative that is axiom number 6 okay and the next thing is we are going to use additive inverse additive inverse says 0 x times 0 remains like x plus minus x that's equal to 0 then we can use the identity of addition identity of addition says 0 is equal to x times 0 okay so this is identity of addition so from this one because identity of addition by identity of addition x plus 0 plus 0 whatever it is the 0 can be eliminated so this one is axiom number 3 i put the link of the axioms i made a separate videos on axioms i put the link of that in the description and also I put the list of axioms in the description also so you can refer what are these things and this is how we prove a proposition is true or not now this is proposition number one I will do more on that I hope you guys watch that too and if you are trying to learn discrete mathematics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist see you next time